Okay, great. Let's get started. So thanks again, everyone, for joining us today um, for the latest Creditor Watch webinar. Today, we're looking at Apply Easy, which is our online credit application. And specifically, we're going to look at how it can um, enhance your customer onboarding experience. So we'll look at it from a, a sales point of view as much as from a credit point of view. So my name's Patrick Coglin. I'm the MD at Creditor Watch. Um, we've got plenty of people who have joined us before. Um, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and enjoy uh, the throwback Thursday, even though it's not Thursday. Um, photo that we've got there, enjoying Bowtie Friday that was back in 2014. The team has significantly grown since then. So before we get started, just a few housekeeping things to remember. Um, Q&A, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them in the box at the top, sorry, in the um, GoToWebinar control panel. There will be a box there for you that says questions and you'll be able to ask us questions. We've got a team standing by who should be able to get to most of them. Um, Apply Easy is generally a fairly easy um, solution to explain and answer questions to. If we don't get back to you, Within, apply, within the uh, webinar itself, we will get back to you within the next 24 hours, either via email or with a phone call. Slides will obviously send to you and we are recording the webinar. Um, so we'll send that all through to you in the next 24, 48 hours as well. And as always, we try to aim to be um, within about 30 minutes, depending on um, how much detail I go into and the sort of audience that we've got today, okay? So what we really want to get an understanding of today, there we go, sorry. Let's jump into the PDF. We have plenty of images in the presentation today, so I'll jump over to the PDF so we won't have any crashing issues. So looking at the agenda today, obviously talking about Creditor Watch and primarily the product Apply Easy, the online credit application. Um, I'll kick off with a poll question very soon, just so I can get an understanding of the attendees, who you guys are, what you're doing, what you're using, that sort of thing. Um, we'll run through the key benefits and features of Apply Easy itself, have a look at the key onboarding journey enhancements and, and how it fits in with your business and, and how it really affects your business in a positive way. Um, look at specifically the impact that it has on sales and um, the customer experience, something that we're we're really trying to drive home a lot more than we probably used to. We probably looked at it more from a credit point of view historically. However, the feedback from our customer base who uses Apply Easy is that the impact that it's having on their sales and, um, and their customer experience is, um, is tremendous and, and as important as the credit impact itself. We'll have a quick demo of Apply Easy. I won't, I won't go into too much detail around that. There's obviously plenty of features that we can show, but I'll show you the basics of that. Look at some client testimonials and really that will be us for today. So a little bit about Creditor Watch. Um, Australia's leading commercial credit reporting bureau with over 50,000 customers. Um, we know that over 90% of those customers use us exclusively. So the data that we're accessing from our customer base is extremely unique. Providing a range of products, um, your traditional credit reporting tools, credit reports, scores, alerts, debt collection tools. Um, we've got a trade program as well, Datalogic Plus, which allows you to analyze your, your debtor's ledger and your receivables. Um, a fairly new product, Bankruptcy Plus, will identify current and previous bankrupts, be it um, you know directors of companies or um, individuals, partnerships, sole traders, that sort of thing. And of course, Apply Easy, which we're demonstrating today. So regardless of how big you are, if you're fairly new to the Creditor Watch community and you know webinar series, um, you know you could you could be a you you could be a sole trader yourself, or you could be you know the finance manager or credit manager of a you know a large enterprise organisation. Um, the beauty of Creditor Watch is that it's affordable for everyone. So don't be put off if I show examples that show a big business and you're a small business, or vice versa. So what is Apply Easy? Um, ultimately, it's uh, an online credit application, okay? Traditionally, for onboarding new customers, when they want to apply for credit, 
we're doing that online. So it's essentially replacing your paper-based credit application, okay? Now, it's not about replacing 100% of all applicants, um, moving them onto online. If we can do that, fantastic. Um, however, you know, the majority of our, of our um, customers will, you know, will communicate back to us saying, even if you get to that 70, 80% mark, it makes an incredible difference, has a huge impact on the speed at which they can respond to the customer, open accounts, um, and also the accuracy with which they're opening those accounts. It's integrated with Creditor Watch, so ultimately we're, on, we're automating that entire onboarding process for you from capturing the data of the applicant, verifying all of the details that they're providing, um, providing the credit report or score, um, and even a decision most of the time. Most people take up the decisioning or set up decisioning with their online application and then taking you all the way through to the approval and rejection process, okay? And all of that is managed from one simple to use dashboard or inbox. Some important points about Apply Easy. Um, it's owned, developed, and operated by Creditor Watch here in Australia. All of our development is done in-house in our Sydney office. We can typically have a credit application up and running within about 48 hours. Now, there's obviously exceptions to that. If you're, a, if you're a, you know, an ASX listed company, you've probably got a few bells and whistles that you want customized and we can do that. However, yeah, that, that 80 to 90% of uh, applications we're creating, we can have up and running for you within 48 hours. We also provide the ability to actually trial it before you go ahead with it. So you can see, is it gonna work for your company and your employees? Make those changes before you actually go live with it. We've got, over 500 companies using our online application now, and again, all the way from small businesses through to um, ASX listed public companies. So the first poll question of the day, what is your current online credit application situation? So the reason for asking this is I just wanna get an understanding of, um, you know, who, who, who are we talking to today? Who, who's using this. Um, so I've given you a few options here to respond. We've got, um, I've already got one, I want one, I'm not interested or it's not relevant to me, um, or just browsing, thanks. So let us know where you sort of best fit in. If you don't fit into any of them, um, I apologize, but maybe just uh, go with the not relevant or the just browsing for the time being. I'll give it another sort of 15 seconds, the majority of you have responded, which is great. And then we'll close that down and, and have a look at some of the results so you can all understand exactly who is doing what and uh, who's joined us today. Okay, so a really nice spread there. Plenty of you just um, coming along just to browse, understand you know, what is a play easy and, and whether it's gonna be relevant. Um, obviously, the relevancy will probably change over the course of the presentation itself. A few of you have already got one and um, a good chunk of you want one, which is great to see. So let's look at the key benefits here of Applyeasy itself. All right, and this is really gonna start to paint a picture of, you know, whether it is gonna be worthwhile for your business. Um, again, it doesn't take a huge amount of time to get up and running. So even if one or two of these tick the box, that's a fantastic thing. So eliminate days worth of administration and data entry every month. This is a really important one. They're all important, but particularly this one. We know that paper-based credit applications take a long time to process. The customer's got to either download one or get sent one, okay? If they don't get sent one or if they, you know, they email you after hours and they can't access it on your website, that means you're potentially missing out on a sale then and there. So the good thing about an online one is they can access it whenever they want. But they've got to fill it out, which takes time, send it to you, which takes time. It's got to be um, you know, evaluated, assessed, um, a legible handwriting often gets in the way or applicants leave important pieces of um, you know, important questions blank, that sort of thing. And then you've got to get all of that into your own CRM or ERP system and communicate back to the um, to the client how that whole process is progressing. So Applyeasy will reduce the application turnaround time, thereby shortening the sales cycle. So one gets it nice and quick 
um, for the customer, good experience for them. Um, but importantly, the sales team um, and the company itself are going to see a turnaround, a quicker turnaround time from a sales perspective. We obviously are doing this all to increase sales um, while also managing risk. So very big positive there. So two next obvious ones. Sorry, I've just been told it's frozen. Just give me a second and let me see if I can sort that out. Stand by everyone, sorry. Okay, I think we're back on there. I've got my team flagging that it's not working, but I think we're back on now. So apologies for that. I didn't close the uh, the poll results, so it was frozen on there. Let me just make sure we haven't missed anything. So just going through the key benefits here, still on the same page. Um, apologies for that. So third and fourth points here, obviously reducing overall credit risk because we're capturing everything that we need to capture. Um, from a credit risk point of view and an entity verification point of view, you're making consistent decisions if you're using that um, decisioning process. It's also integrated with Creditor Watch. Um, by speeding it up, you're improving the customer service, importantly, which is really good. And that's you know the whole basis for today's presentation itself. Um, automating it, so it's automating a lot of the processes, reducing human error. Importantly, from an internal um, audit point of view, there's an auditable trail, so we can give multiple login, um, multiple logins or individual logins for each employee that's accessing, approving, rejecting. Um, it's also capturing all the information from a credit reporting point of view. So I've got an example here. If you use Trade Credit Insurance, it's capturing a timestamp credit report PDF at that time and saving it for you if you ever need to go back to it. So. Plenty of ticks there from an, um, an audit and compliance point of view, particularly for those larger organisations out there. Um, there's no additional reporting fees. So, so obviously to access credit or sorry, to access Apply Easy, you have to have um, a Creditor Watch account, okay, which most of you either do or have been spoken to about. And there's a there's a monthly fee for that, depending on you know the number of customers you have and how many reports you're running. With Apply Easy, there's only a fee per application that is processed. So you're not paying a fee per application process and then having to buy you know, a, a certain credit report on top of that. So it's a really affordable um, and scalable option from a, um, from a cost point of view. When you approve an application, it instantly adds it to your monitoring and alerts list within Creditor Watch itself. So if something changes to that company, you might, um, approve them today because they're a nice clean credit file and then a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, they go into administration or have a you know, court action or a payment default lodged against it, we're automatically going to send you those um, important alerts letting you know that that's happened. And then the last one we have here is something that more and more people are taking up and that's the integration itself into your ERP and CRM system. This is where you're going to see a huge um, improvement in turnaround time, but also the reduction of administration and data entry, that sort of thing. Now, this is an this is an option. It's not something that you have to take up. And if you don't take it up, you're still seeing in uh, you know big big time savings from you know data entry, human human um, data entry input, that sort of thing. Um, however, it is certainly something that if you've got the capabilities, um, fairly simple, fairly simple API to um, send all of that information into your ERP or CRM system. One that I've missed out on here as well is um, automating PPSR registrations. Creditor Watch now offers the ability to register on the PPSR. We can integrate that with Apply Easy, so you can do a single click to register those um, security interests. Key features, now, You'll see at the bottom here, um, the last point I make, we've got hundreds of features. I've pulled out the most important ones. Um, however, if there's one that you don't see on here or one that you think you require or would require, ask the question in the control panel or get in contact with us.
um, you know, after this webinar and, and, and just clarify. But I like to say to, um, to customers, big and small, when I go out to see them, is I've never had the development team, our development team say no when I've asked for a specific customer customization. They love the challenge of creating something, even if it is quite complicated. Um, so all you have to do is ask and, and we'll come back to you on that one. But let's jump back to the top. Um, branded credit application hosted and managed by Creditor Watch. So what this means is you don't have to get your IT team involved, okay? We set it up, we host it and we manage it. We manage all the changes. All you have to do is head to your bespoke URL. In this case, we've got yourcompany.applaisy.com.au. So that is where your customer would go in order to complete the credit application itself. All questions are customizable to suit your business needs. Ultimately, what we do to start off with is we take your current paper-based application and we just replicate all the questions. If you tell us, hey, you know, a lot of these questions are a little bit old or not necessary anymore, we can remove them very easily for you and very quickly. Verify ACN, ABN and entity information, important, integrates with Creditor Watch from a credit reporting point of view. We can automate trade references. Now, I know that trade references is somewhat of a dying art. Um, some people, plenty of people still rely on them. This is, all of these things we're looking at are, are, are options. Um, so what that means is an applicant puts in um, their trade references, will automatically email the referees on your behalf, asking for them to complete a trade reference online. That then comes back into your inbox so you can access that information. Automated credit decisions, so ultimately providing you with an approve, reject, or refer when you log in to, um, to process a new application. So we work with you on those rules. For example, if there's any sort of adverse against it, um, you know, negative cross-directorship, so they've had previously failed companies, um, you know, they've only been trading for a certain amount of time, plenty of options and variables there. And ultimately, we set up some rules to come back with a approve, reject, or refer decision for you. From a guarantees, um, terms and conditions, privacy policy, anything that needs to be signed, we've got two options there. Hand signed PDF, that traditional sort of sense, um, the way it always worked, and also electronic signature for those people who are um, you know, keen to explore the more digital um, avenue towards accepting uh, signatures. Again, comes down to you know business decision whether you want to whether you want to do that or not. But we can talk you through the options as well, so it's nice and flexible for you. And we can always move you from one to the other if um, you find that it's not working for your particular business. Communicate all application decisions to the applicant. It's themselves and also staff. So you can have multiple stakeholders that might be involved in the um, application process. It might come into the inbox, the credit management or the credit team approve it, but that has to get sent to you know the finance manager or the MD and send it on to them and they can approve it from there. Um, applicant is then made aware of whether they've been approved or rejected and all staff involved or other staff can also be um, informed of the decision process as well. Integration with ERP, CRM, I've touched on already. Um, and the last one that we have here is the ability to capture um, important documents, physical or soft copy documents, I should say. So along the way, um, and I'll show you a demonstration of this later on, you can actually ask for the applicant to upload a copy of their driver's license, for example, or if they're involved in a trust trustee type of um, corporate structure, you can ask for a copy of the trust deed. Um, so that anything that you could think of that you may need uploaded and captured as a document, um, we've got the ability to do that for you. So some key onboarding enhancements that we've got lodged here, or we've got noted here, I should say. So as the customer fills in the application, AppliEasy is verifying the entity and entity details, such as addresses and directors, assessing their credit and ordering a credit report, um, automating trade references, and collecting documents via an upload. From a privacy in terms and conditions, as I said before, you've got two options there, hand signed document, or you can utilize electronic digital signatures. Once an application is received, um, you will get an email into your um, email address 
You'll then be able to log into your dashboard inbox within Apply Easy, and that's where you'll see the credit de decision actually displayed. Um, we can automate that further, and if it's approved, you can automatically approve it through to um, letting the customer know that they've been approved, or you have the option to um, manually approve it based on the decision as well. You can then access all the relevant documentation, such as credit reports, um, signed documents that the customer has lodged and trade references if they've been returned already. At the approval rejection process, ability to manually and automatically do that, as I mentioned, um, whereby you do approve or reject it, we're saving all the applications for you into approved and rejected folders so you can access them later on at a later date. Um, and when you actually approve it as well, you have the ability to send an email to the customer letting them know not just that they've been approved and they might have um, you know, a, a customer number or a credit limit, for example. However, you can also send them a, um, a product brochure or a welcome letter to the applicant itself as an attachment. Um, re, we find that this is um, something that majority of our customers take up because it's a great way to engage them straight away from a sales perspective. They've applied for a credit application. You've come back to them very quickly and said, great, you're now approved for this credit limit. By the way, please see attached our product um, brochure. You know, you can start ordering straight away. Or this is a welcome letter with all the information you need to know about the relationship, the partnership going forward. As I mentioned before, you can also now um, automate PPSR registration. So you get to the end of that approval process, you hit approve, it sends the email off to the customer. It will then have a nice simple pop-up that says, would you like to register this on the PPSR? Yes or no, click, and we take care of the registration for you. Um, we wanna make this ultimately an end-to-end -end credit management um, platform, and, 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 and the addition of this PPSR registration has made that possible now. So if you are registering on the PPSR, it's a great way to be able to do everything in one go. You've got all the information that you require for the registration collected from the applicant that they filled out, has been verified by Creditor Watch, and then sent off to the PPSR uh, for, for registration. So really, really easy process there. Um, one click, importantly means you don't have someone having to do it either on a, you know, a daily basis or a weekly basis. It's nice and quick, which we know is extremely important um, from a PPSR legislation point of view. I won't touch on that integration because I've mentioned that a couple of times now. Um, the last two points I wanted to make here was around incomplete applications. So what happens is sometimes someone will start an application but not complete it for a varying amount of reasons. They might not have the information they require, they might get interrupted, doesn't really, doesn't really matter why. At the end of the day, they haven't completed the application. Credit uh, Apply Easy will actually capture the information that they've already input and provide you with a list of those incomplete applications. It's a great tool for you to use, great way to bring credit and, and sales closer together as well is you can actually pass that back to the sales team and say, hey guys, here's a list of potential clients who dropped off in the online credit application process. Give them a call, find out why didn't they go ahead? Can we save that sale? Can we get them on board? Can we get them to complete the application? You can actually send them a link so they can kick off from where they left off last time. And then the last one here is the ability to review previously received applica applications. So you can reassess um, previously approved or rejected applications and also run them through your decisioning system again if you've got one set up. So this could be done um, to approve previously rejected applications, for example. Potentially their circumstances have changed. Um, if you wanted to assess a credit limit increased for existing customers or applications that have already been approved, that's quite a, um, a popular reason for using this. Uh, reassessment option. You have clients who come on board, you approve them for a smaller amount initially, say for three months or six months, and at that three to six month stage, um, they may come back to you and say, okay, well, we've been a good payer, can we um, increase it to, you know, X thousand dollars? Gives you the ability to do that again in a really quick and seamless process. 
And the last obvious one there is as part of an annual review. Um, you know, if you are performing, um, you know, credit, if you are doing credit reporting, um, you should be reviewing your customers at least annually. Obviously, the alerts, um, monitoring and alerts with Creditor Watch is keeping an eye on them on a daily basis for you. But it's always good to do a um, an annual review in case you have missed anything along the way. Good practice to update records um, and databases. So let's look at um, increasing sales and improving the customer experience with ApplyEasy and how that works exactly. So implementing um, an online credit application like ApplyEasy impacts both sales and credit in a positive way because we're getting rid of so many um, potential errors that could come up. We're reducing processing time, turning the sale around quicker um, and generally just making it a much nicer experience for the customer. They can apply for an account at any time um, of the day and they obviously get up, kept up to date as the, as the application is processed. So some of the points here that I've, that I've put together, standardized credit terms resulting in clearer communications and expectations, better post-sale customer experience. So the transition from sales to credit and actually ultimately back to sales becomes a lot more seamless. Um, reduction in overhead costs um, around printing and ink. Um, this gives you the ability to not only reduce those costs, but from a positive point of view, you know, move towards a paperless environment. The majority of companies are trying to make that move, and this is, um, you know, this is a this is a a way to to really affect that and assist you with making that move. Simplified onboarding journey, and therefore all correct details provided immediately, ready for processing. So there's no need to go back and forwards with the customer. They've submitted everything at the application point. They're not able to leave anything blank or move on. Otherwise, the page doesn't load or they can't actually submit the application. So that's often a bugbear for the credit team as much as it is for the customer. Sometimes you know, the, the, the credit team go back to the customer and ask additional questions or they can't read something. It bugs the customer. We just want to reduce those touch points there, get the approval done as soon as possible. Um, easy tracking and late payment follow-ups, capturing all the correct information, um, and then obviously um, ABN verification of a system rule. So from a decisioning point of view, we're making that approval process much quicker, which is a huge benefit for the customer. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump in and, and show you a quick version of a, um, an online application that, that we've obviously set up for demonstration purposes. Um, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles on there. It's got the basics there. The majority of um, you know our our customers, our applications that we've created over over the years have these basics in there. Don't be put off if you don't see something that that you think you require or you don't you know might think that you don't require. It's purely for demonstration purposes, and and we're always keen to to set up you know a um, a demo version, a trial version based on your own paper-based credit application or credit application process for you. So what you see here is um, our online credit application. So we can affect things like company logo, putting that in, getting your color scheme and numbers right. Um, got your contact details in here as well. Um, and obviously a nice introduction to the applicant explaining exactly what they need in order to complete the application itself, okay? And importantly also the, the, uh, the URL, so you'd have your company name in that URL there. Jumping through, the first thing that we're going to ask for is an ABN. And what you see is by putting that ABN in, it's populating the ACN automatically, the business structure, and also the legal entity name. So you don't have a situation where they put in the ABN of a, um, a sole trader, the ACN of a, a separate company, and then the, the business name that doesn't actually exist within, it, within the, uh, the ASIC business names register, okay? So you're trading with the exact, the, 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 a single entity, the correct entity. If um, there was a trust trustee scenario, the way we have Creditor Watch and Apply as you set up is if you entered the ABN of a trust, it would then force the applicant um, to enter 
the trustee details, be it you know the ACN or you know if it's a part if it's a partnership trustee type of arrangement. All right, so that way you're doing you know exactly um, who is involved, who's the trustee, who's the trust. You're actually able to run credit reports on both of those entities as well. Okay, and at that stage you could also look to um, ask for a trust deed uploaded if you wanted to to take it to that level. So what we've got here, profile nature of the business. So I'll just put in construction, um, credit limit requested, $10,000. Hit next, takes me onto the next page, okay? Contact details that we've got here. Um, I'm not gonna fill out all of this information because it's fairly self-explanatory. This is a, a nice drag and drop or click so they can add a copy of their driver's license if they needed to. You'll notice down here is a save for later. So I click that, I can enter my email sends me an email and if I want to come back to where I left off, it takes me straight back to that point. We've then got the director section. I can pre-fill that information with all the director information from the ASIC extract, ASIC database. If I've got more directors, I can add to that as well. Um, addresses, again, I've got the address here from ASIC and I can do quick copy downs here if they're all the same. Again, we're just trying to make this as seamless and as easy as possible for the customer to fill out and get it back to you. These are the trade references that I mentioned earlier. Again, purely optional, we can have this showing or have it hidden. Documents, this is where you might get them to upload any sort of document you can think of, driver's licenses. Um, you can also get them to download documents. So this is where you could get them to download a copy of your um, terms and conditions, um, director's guarantee, etc. They download it, sign it, and then upload it back into the application. So when that application is ultimately submitted to you, you're receiving all the documentation that you need to actually make a decision. Final page here is a confirmation page. I can go through, is everything correct? Yes, I've submitted it, fantastic, hit complete. I have this set up from a um, digital um, or electronic signature point of view. So just think of any time you, um, you know, Apple change their terms and conditions. I'm scrolling through the terms and conditions. Yes, I'm authorized. Scroll through, you know, director's guarantee, for example, add my name, email, and position. I'm authorized and I fully read and understand the terms and conditions, okay? So we're ticking multiple boxes there um, from a, uh, terms and conditions or you know guarantee point of view. Finally, hit submit and that will send an email to the credit manager. Credit manager will log into their inbox and that from here they're able to process that application itself. Okay, so we can see we've got three pending here in our inbox. We've got our previously approved ones, rejected ones, and also a list of incomplete applications as well that I touched on. So from here, we can access all the files associated with this particular um, application that's come in, including a timestamped credit report, a copy of the PDF of the application, and importantly, the decision, a timestamped auto decision that you'll see here. Okay, so we can see that um, it was prepared on this date, no, no adverse information, credit limit request of $1,000, and ultimately there was an approval at this time Really nice time-stamped, auditable piece of documentation here um, should you need it in the future. You can also add new um, files into this section as well if required. Um, you've got plenty of flexibility there to do that. Add any notes along the way. Um, so we can see that you know, this application was submitted then, auto approval timestamp came through about a minute later. And you could go in here and go, yes, all looks good to me, add new or I've got to pass this on to finance because they you know, they want you know, half a million dollar credit limit, that sort of thing. Again, it's all about creating that orderable trail and keeping everyone up to date with exactly what's going on. All of these links that you see take you through to Creditor Watch. So you can actually see that online credit report if that's what you're interested in. Um, it's gonna be the same as that PDF, except much, uh, much easier to, to sort of use, utilize and navigate around. Credit information, should you want additional information on top of the standard credit report that is provided, you can do that and access that. Um, you can see here the order decision 
decisions that have been provided. So in this case, we don't have it on auto approval. The application rules have been set up. It's saying approve, and now it's up to you to manually either approve or reject that application. So we're going to approve this one. Um, we're going to approve it for $1,000. Um, we could increase that, decrease that if we wanted. Um, account ID, if you've got that at the time, great. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. And then the next step is to send an email to the applicant saying that they've been obviously successful. So if we had this in your production version, in your live version, it would pre-populate the email address with the applicant's email address. Um, you could BCC in additional people like you know finance, sales, MD, et cetera. We have a standard template here for you to use. However, we can um, adjust this depending on your requirements. And as I said, we can, we can select additional attachments to send to the applicant as well. These things might be, you know, marketing documentation, a product brochure, et cetera. Click send email, that sends it off to the client um, and that will get saved in your approved folder. If you were registering on the PPSR, you'd have another pop-up that would say, do you want to register on the PPSR? Yes, click that, sends that off for you, all done. Okay, so very, very straightforward process. Um, for people who are interested in an online credit application. Um, as I said, we can get it up and running very quickly for you, should you be interested. Now, I won't go through all the client testimonials here. We've just put them together for you um, to have a look at when we send out the, um, the slides in the next sort of 24 to 48 hours. Some big businesses on there, some medium-sized businesses, um, as I said, a Playsy works for businesses of all sizes, so don't be don't be put off if if you think this is only for you know large organisations. Um, it certainly isn't. We've got plenty. We've got a really good balance of um, you know smaller businesses and and much larger businesses using a Playsy. Um, within here, there's a link through to our client testimonials page. There's a couple of videos there for you and a few case studies that you can actually download um, and access. I'll, I'll click through to that and show you. So we've got Manas and Foods, Metcash provided client testimonials, and then we have a number of case studies for you to download as well. I'm going to run one last poll. I always like to know um, if the webinar itself has been insightful, so please be brutally honest with us. Um, we like to, to always try to improve what we're doing. Um, and if we're not doing a, you know, a great job, um, we're always open for, for feedback. We have that constant feedback loop between our customers and the company itself to ensure that um, you know, people are enjoying either what they're consuming from a webinar point of view, or if you're a customer, being able to come to us and say, hey, this isn't up to scratch, it'd be great if it did this. So, 100% there, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So that brings us to the end. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, big thank you for joining us today and attending. Um, I know it's, you know, plenty of you take time either out of your lunch break or, you know, out of your busy days. Um, so I appreciate the time that you, uh, that you take to, to join and listen in. Um, if you do, require more information, um, you're interested in a trial, uh, you can go to applyeasy.com.au. Um, there's a video on there just giving a you know sort of um, a cartoonish type video explaining how, oh, I should say animated, but rather animated video explaining exactly how the process works, not looking at the, the, the product itself, just the, uh, the workflow of it. Um, you can also get in contact with us via Applyasy, there's a form on the homepage. If not, you can reply direct to any of the emails that you would have received um, or speak to your, you know, your existing account manager if you are already a client of Creditor Watch. Um, and before we wrap up, of course, keep up to date with everything that's happening with um, Creditor Watch on our Creditor Watch blog. Plenty of articles um, and helpful tips and hints coming through. We're getting a lot of um, new contributors at the moment, which is really good to see. 
Um, and the one thing I would uh, love everyone to go and have a look at is the latest milestone or our newest milestone. So Creditor Watch recently announced that we've um, we've sold or had 10 million credit reports ordered since we began about eight years ago, um, and we've put together a really um, a really fun video. Um, so I encourage you to jump on and, and have a look at that. Yes, it's cheesy. We're certainly not actors by trade, um, but it's uh, it's certainly worth a watch there. So if you've got any questions, obviously ask away. I'll leave that. I'll leave this open for another couple of minutes. If we haven't got back to you yet, we will get back to you. I promise you that. Um, and if not, thanks again for joining us, and hopefully uh, hear from you next time or get you to join our upcoming webinars. We've always got plenty of them coming along and we'll communicate that via email. Thanks again, everyone. Have a fantastic day.